Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, Unity's Raycast system and how we can use it to actually find out how high we are from the ground. So I just have a test scene here and this is what it looks like. So I just have a cube um, and I'm shooting a ray uh, downwards and I have this plane which is tagged with um, ground or you can tag it at floor whatever you like. So as I move uh, my cube uh, towards the plane you'll see I have a console log here that outputs the um, distance I am away from the plane itself so as I go up you can see it increases as I go down it decreases and you can add uh, lots of other features here like maybe a uh, on collision detect here or on collision enter uh, to check when the cube is actually grounded so when it actually comes in contact with this plane but I'll leave that up to you uh, for now, I just want to show you guys how to use this simple Rekha system. So let's dive right in. So I have a basic scene set up here in Unity 3D. Uh, I'm just going to get my UI set up quickly. We're going to right click in our hierarchy and we're going to add a plane. We're going to just uh, scale this up to uh, 5, 5, 5. Just zoom out a bit. Then what we're going to do is create a material for this plane. We'll right click in our assets. Go to create, go to material, and we'll just name this plane mat. Then we want to drag and drop it onto the plane. We're going to go over to its inspector and we're going to choose a color. So I like that color. Next thing we're going to need is a cube. So we're going to right click in the hierarchy, go to create 3D object. We're going to select cube. Once again, we're going to scale this up to 5, 5, and 5. Then we're going to select our multi tool and just pick that up. We want to place it somewhere like 20 units uh, on the Y. And we want to just create one more material for the cube. So we'll call this cube mat. And we can also just select the color for this material. I'll drag this onto the cube. And there you see it. This is our basic scene set up. So what we're going to need now is a script to control all of this. We'll right click in our assets, go to create C sharp script and I'll call this Raycast. Or let's just call it Raycasting. Cool, I'll double click to open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the start function for now. And I'm going to get rid of that as well. So the first thing we're going to need is um, a variable to actually store the height the height or the length of the actual ray that I want to display. So we can just create something like a public float and we can call this height. Then the next thing we're going to need is a, a variable to store all of the raycast information. So that's a raycast hit variable and we'll name this hit. Then we're going to head over to our update method because obviously we want this to be happening every frame or we want to be drawing this uh, this ray every frame because we want to check how high we are off the ground um, you know every frame so what we want to do now is we're going to just say ray we're going to create a new ray and we're going to uh, so I want my ray to be pointing downwards right because the ground is obviously going to be at the bottom you can have a terrain you can have ocean depending on whatever you want right so I just want you to point down so I'm going to say transform dot position and I'm going to say negative vector 3 up or you could just say vector 3 down I'll close that off cool now what I want to do is I actually want to visualize this array right so I'm going to debug this array I'm going to say debug dot draw array and I'm going to say transform dot position vector 3 3 dot down because it's going to be pointing downwards and I'm going to multiply it by the height so that's how high I want to obviously draw this array and we created that variable up there and I also want to give it a color so that we can actually visualize it so I'll give it a color and we'll just say red for now so let's actually just uh, head over to unity and see how this looks so far see I have my cube I'll drag my script onto my cube and here you can see I have my height. I just want to set it to, let's say, 20 units. So I'll hit play. And there you see, 
we have a nice red line. Cool, so now let's get everything else working. Head over back to my script. And now I want to do some checks, right? So I actually want to see when my Raycast is actually hitting something, right? So I'll say if physics dot raycast and we need to pass in our ray as well as our variable uh, that's actually going to store all of this information and I'll just close that off so what I'm going to need is another if statement because I want to see whether it hits this uh, floor which obviously has a tag on it right so I'm going to say if the hit collider so remember all of the raycars information is stored in this variable right so I want to access that variable and say if hit dot collider dot tag is equal to ground so I'm actually going to tag the floor as ground then what I want to do I want to debug dot log I just want to debug that distance and I'll close that off. So if we head over back to Unity, I can go to my plane, I can add a tag, and I'll call this ground. Just make sure that the spelling is correct, or, it, or it's the same as the one in your script. Then I'll click my plane again, and I'll just tag it with ground. Now you see if I hit play, I get a console, and it shows us that we are 20 units above the ground. But remember, that's 20 units from the origin of the object, right? So now if I move my cube down, as you can see, now my distance is 7.99 units off the ground. Now if you look at this quickly, my cube looks like it's already touching the ground or very close to the ground. But my actual value is about, uh, it's saying that I'm 2.6 units above the ground. That's because it's giving me from the origin. Now, if you want to obviously uh, compensate for that, you can find the center of this cube or of your object, and you can just minus it from your hit amount so that you know when, you, when your object is actually touching the ground. So we can do that quickly. So for me, I know my cube is 5 by 5 by 5, so I know how fated that is going to be 2.5. So I can just do that quickly. What I'll do is I'll just comment that out, and I'll just create a float height above the ground is equal to the hit dot distance minus 2.5 f and I'll close it off now what I want to debug dot log is just this height above ground and now it should give me the correct reading and you can obviously put this as a const uh, up somewhere here but for now this should be fine let's head over to unity and let's test this out Okay, so now it says we are 17.5 units above the ground, which is correct. So if I head all the way down, now it looks like we're almost touching the floor. And here you see our output is saying 0 0.29, which means that we are almost touching the ground. And if I get closer and closer, you see it's almost at zero, which means that we are almost touching the ground. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned how to use Raycast and obviously you can expand on this don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel I'll see you guys in the next one